Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. We flew all the way to Arkansas to check out Block Ops' brand new hosting facility. Alrighty guys, we're here with Ben from Blockchain Construction. How's it going, Ben? Good, how are you? So Ben helped to build this massive facility here. So Ben, tell us a little bit about this facility. Yeah, so I own Blockchain Construction. We're a contractor group. We go around building uh, different mining facilities. That's just what the only Sounds thing. Sounds like an amazing build, job. Right? It's pretty good. <laughs> so this is um, a seven watt megawatt facility. Okay, great. 2,300 slots. Wow. Uh, we built it in about eight weeks from eight weeks. ground to energize That's in eight insane. weeks. Uh, so there's no like there's no kit for these types of things nope, it's like nope. that's crazy definitely yeah it's got a passive design for the okay. intake um and a passive exhaust design okay so the fans on the miners do all the work that's awesome uh, 20 foot tall ceilings to help um get rid of some of that heat yep um uh throughout it but uh we met uh the owner of this company yep. through the arkansas blockchain council he was looking for a contractor to build I said, hey, I'm a contractor, we can build it. So that's what, how we came up together. And yeah, so working. we actually had been on the channel uh, about a year ago. I think it was like October or whatever, a little bit more, checking out your immersion site there. Right. And now we're at this facility here, all in Arkansas, which yep. is fantastic. That's right. It's so cool to see like Arkansas support mining. We're the next Texas, that's, The next Texas, that's <laughs> no, awesome. Exactly. So you had said this facility here has 2,300 slots. That's right. How many would you estimate right now are filled? Uh, right now, I think we are, are there just about a thousand. Okay. Uh, I think they have 300 coming this week. Wow. So there'll be, you know, roughly a thousand slots or some. A little bit of self-mining here, yep. a little bit of hosting. They, okay. Uh, work with uh, Blake and Chris over at Must Miners. Okay. Uh, a lot of their clients have come here. That's great. Uh, Caspa, which I know you love. There's a lot of Caspa audience here. loves the Caspa. <laughs> right? yep. We got a rack full of those here. Okay. Um, and then uh, some, we had about 50 or so S21s is wow. what Ricky was telling me. That's awesome. Um, yeah, and then uh, of course K-Pros, J-Pros, XPs. I think there's like two or three hundred X. A little here. bit of everything here, which is cool. Everything. All right, Ben. So tell us a little bit about the hosting process here, because I think for my audience, home miners, you know, power is a struggle here in the U.S. Yeah. Rates are going higher. Tell us a little bit about the hosting process here. Yeah. So, uh, like, these are shipment of S S21s. Uh, we got a couple pallets of these just yeah. came in this week. Uh, I think we got fifty or so here. Okay. Um, a lot of these come through Musk Miners, okay. through the sales. Uh, that's the main vendor yep. that we use yep. for clients. Or you can contact Block Ops at uh, blockops.com okay. uh, for hosting I'll put services. that website link down below that's if you right. guys are interested. And you can contact me through Telegram, or and I can get you in contact with the guys that are doing okay. it here. So I'm interested in hosting, and um, I go over to the Block Ops website, reach out to you guys. What are we looking at from a rate? You know, what does that look like here? Yeah, so eight cents generally. Okay. Uh, anything above twenty-five MOQ, okay. I think it lowers down maybe to like so seven and a half. The higher the quantity, Correct. the lower your rates. That's right. Be. Yeah, okay. uh, a few of these they have different models for like uh, uh, the having coming up. Right? Yeah, like yeah. They've got we got a lot of J Pros from here. Yeah, yep. we got like two hundred. He had okay. two hundred J Pros. Uh, they're on a profit share model. Oh, so it's that's a pass, a different. Yeah, it's kind of to protect the clients and the facilities with this unknown of the having coming yeah. up. Yeah, we really don't know what's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, like what's going to happen. So it's a month-to-month -month contract okay. that can be terminated by either side. Okay. Uh, Pass-through power costs. Wow. So flat rate of what the facility is charged. Yeah. And then they split the profits 50-50 uh, at the end of the month. So do you find that more attractive for people with older model A6? Yep, that's that's exact, okay. exactly okay. So why it is. People yeah. like, like myself, like I have a handful of Me 100 too, yeah. terahash units. Um, and so I think, you know, maybe some of the audience that has the 95s and stuff. I've got like 1095s here. 1095s yeah, here. My own, and know, that's a so. great actual like avenue to go, which yeah. I think makes a lot more sense. So once I decide, hey, I want to go with Block Ops, mm -hmm. and we, we uh, everything comes to an agreement, uh, we ship the units down to you guys here. Yep. They got on box. What happens next? Run me through that. Yeah. So uh, generally, we get a shipment in the mornings. Um, 
my not my guys, the guys that run the here. The team here, yeah. Team yep. here, yep. They um, they get everything ready, unboxed. Okay. And they usually have you online within a couple of hours of receiving it. Wow. Uh, they've been really good about about getting these in. Like I. I would say with these though, we've had a, they've had a shipment of like 500 units this week. Wow, so they're so, really busy. Yeah, so you can see we yeah. got this this rack and that rack, and they're done. You know, yep. so one of these might just have my name on yeah, it. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> there is a YouTuber in here that has somebody's name. Oh, on it. there you go. <laughs> there you go. Cool. So after you guys get them in, you get them racked. What does that look like from the customer level? So the customer usually will like give you guys the pool information, everything, and they'll go in and set it up? Yeah, the, the techs, uh, they get the pool information yep. and everything, and they'll have it set up just, just like any other regular normal okay. host service. But what I'll say is that that Block Ops strives to do versus what like Compass and stuff is yeah. communication, right? Okay. Like, in the open line, um, I can get you in touch with the owner and the yep. techs here. Yep. Uh, of course, Blake and them can do the same thing. Yep. Uh, you know, it's just whether you have one unit. I, I talked to a guy last night that has two units here. Yeah. You know, and yep. he was like, man, it's just amazing that we can reach out to some folks and get yeah. some answers. He's with Compass for yep. years and had the No, problem. that's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, I think that works out really well. All right, so Ben, tell me a little bit more about the power situation here. So we got the power coming off of the street. Mm -hmm. It looks like that we've seen some upgrades around this area here yeah. to support this. Walk me through from road to minor. Yeah, so substation on the back side back here. Was that already there? Already here. So okay. this was actually in 2016. Okay. There was two megawatts worth of air containers right out there. Really? Running S9s. Wow. Company went under. Previous, in, previous bull run, that's yeah. That's right. Company went under in, I think, 17, 18 okay. period when the, you know, yeah. kind of skipped out of town on Oh, them. I know, right? So this. This facility or this area is used to having a, a Bitcoin mine here. Wow, uh, from okay. kind of old school days. Just container setup. Just okay. container setup. That's okay. right, running S9s. Okay. Um, so the infrastructure here from a power perspective was already beefed up to support it to a degree. Somewhat, yeah. Okay. So uh, come off our substation over there to our primary metering point, and that's where energy stops. Okay. So here in a little bit, you'll see the video where all the overhead lines, transformers, yep. we built everything ourselves. Uh, okay. Uh, my lineman came in, yep. done everything past primary point. Yep. Electricians done everything. So all like, through blockchain construction. That's right. Got it. Yep. Okay. Um, we own the concrete guys, the framers, everything. Wow. Okay. So, uh, but uh, eight megawatts worth of transformers here. Okay. Energy's only given seven megawatts from Got the it. substation. Got it. So am so, I seeing three outside here? Is that what four, I'm saying? Four. Four. All right. Four. four two. Well, I, I think they're 2,000 kVA. Okay. Yeah, I think okay. that's what they were. They might be 2,500 kVA's, okay. like, something like that. Um, basically, two megawatts off of every one, and the yep. last one's one megawatt. Okay. Give us seven. Okay, so, gotcha. Um, yeah, runs to the uh, moonshot. Well, excuse me, disconnects out there. 800 yep. amp disconnects out there. Wow. So, you know, yeah. half a megawatt per disconnect. And then you guys track it in and come right track in here. Track it in on the 646 DLO. Real nim nimble, you can move yeah, it work well. Yeah, which is nice. Uh, runs right into our panels here. These are the PDUs, power distribution units. Okay. Made by Moonshot, Ethan down at Moonshot. Wow. Give him a shout, shout out. <laughs> uh, you know, he makes home mining stuff also. That's awesome, very PDUs, cool. PDUs, stuff like that. Okay. Really good, good, good equipment. Um, comes into the PDU here. Yep. I mean, PDP in here out to our PDUs. So then so, that runs out to the big PDUs right. that are along the racks that's there. That's right, so one one cabinet uh, supplies seven PDUs. Wow, okay, so, yep. and then how many watts or how many units does a PDU traditionally handle? Uh, let's see, 24 times about 3,000, right? Wow. Whatever that, 60, okay. 68? No, what is that number? Yeah, the PDU, <laughs> yeah. it's all right, Mass yeah, Hard, I get it. That's not my strong suit. That's all right, so <laughs> the, the PDUs are actually really, I, I, I saw those and even commented on them, yep. because not only do they have your power on there with your different types of connections, but then yep. you also have Ethernet. Yep. So it's nice and clean, it's a short run, it's not like you know, you're going all down the racks or anything like that, yep. anything custom. It's just all right there. right there, and then everything. And I've seen more and more farms doing this, where okay. they're coming back to here and then wiring the PDU from here to there, Yeah, which seems to work out really, Much really easier. well. Yeah. All right, guys, so we're on the intake side of the Block Ops mining farm here, and yep. we have this black 
mesh screen. Tell me a little bit more about it, why you guys went in this direction. Yeah, so again, passive income, no fans. Yep. We are, which I don't know if you can see it, there's some houses right there. Yeah, out in the distance right? there, yeah. I mean, that's two acres away, yep. I think is what it is. And then we've got the, so the fans and stuff, yep. uh, added noise, we didn't want to add that. Okay. But again, uh, sometimes you don't have to go overboard with everything. Yeah. You can do some just passive flow yep. if you got big enough surface area, right? Okay. So just regular old chicken wire here, basically yeah. some, yeah. and then uh, uh, like a window screen mesh yeah. is what's protecting it, uh, is for the filter. Uh, these guys wash it. As you can see, it's raining right now. Yeah, it's so, working well. Yeah, working good. Just so I guess the out. idea here is like twofold. First off, it's from a sound perspective. Mm -hmm. So it's like, let's not add these massive intake fans, especially on a residential side on that side. Right. And then when we get over to the exhaust side, we'll see too, it's the same type of scenario where That's we're right. using. So you guys are really putting these high RPM fans that the ASICs have mm -hmm. to work and doing everything yep so that you don't really need to do anything else i mean you already got these a6 with crazy high rpm fans in that's place. right so we did pipe in a water line okay here and we have the ability for a fogger system interesting we don't top. see that often that's right for almost like a water wall water yeah. curtain like on an ant box and stuff yeah. kind of same concept okay uh so in the summer if we have to use it we will but okay. we're hoping we don't yeah of course uh, you of know course, we don't yeah. have to so all right, so we're on the exhaust side or the hot aisle. So right. tell me a little bit about this design here from the A6 outward. Yeah, again, again, the passive in, uh, passive income. <laughs> passive, that's what we're about, right? Oh passive income. No, the passive airflow from yep. the intake, let the minor fans do the work. Yep. And exhaust it out the other side. Yeah. Um, you know, if need be in the future, we have contingency plans to put exhaust fans on it. Okay. But again, with this facility operating in two sites in Texas already, yep. We don't believe that we're going to need that. It's completely open, guys. Completely like, open. It's just completely it's open. Mind blowing, right? I, I, well, I haven't <laughs> seen. I even talked with Ben. It's like I haven't seen a design like that where it's entirely open. Yeah. I've at least seen like some type of mesh wall or chicken wire wall. So what made you go with just a complete open concept? Again, if it works, it works. Yeah. Again, these two sites in Texas. Yeah. The original guy that kind of designed the place. Yeah. We just built it. We didn't yeah. design it. Um, but if you look at Clean Spark, yeah, their a good Georgia example. facilities, yeah. all open. All there, open yeah, like this. there is no exhaust on their side. Yeah, now if you guys are concerned from the security perspective, stuff like that, the other full fence, barbed wire yeah, fence around uh, here, which is nice. Security at night and stuff like that. So like, it you know, you kind of had that contingency in place. Yeah. I, I get that as a as a client, as hosting, yeah. you know, you have those concerns, but yeah, I mean, there's plenty. It looks great the way it's designed here. I also think too, you don't have, exhaust fans you don't have management of, of climate that you have to yeah. do it's literally just an all-natural setup right. i mean it's pretty much one of my sheds but big that's you know? right yeah. <laughs> so ben i think i want to host some asics here yeah. so what is what's my next step who am i reaching out to who am i talking yeah. to yeah uh you can reach out to blockoffsmining.com okay uh that'll get you connected to us reach out to hobbyist here he can obviously, we talk every day. I got you on the that. right track. That's right, yeah. Uh, Musk Miners, I'll throw a plug in for them. They're yeah. my boys. So, Blake and Chris, Blake and Chris yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of their clients are here right okay. now. So That's yeah. fantastic. That's and good. last thing I thought about that we haven't really touched on, are there units that you do and don't take? Um, so, I mean, here we have um, What's Miners yeah. are here. Uh, we have uh, some L7s. I think we have like 200 L7s. Wow, here. okay. Uh, somewhere around 70 Casper miners, both Ice River and Bitmain. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't think there's nothing that we necessarily don't take yeah. as far as um, just make sure the client has an understanding of what yeah, the sure. possibilities are, just sure. like anywhere else. But awesome. yeah, I'd say Caspa. Litecoin miners, uh, and then Bitcoin miners. Of course. Of you, course. you know, you big three ones now. Yep, I guess you. You big three now that Cass was a big boy. Uh, that's uh, right. Don't that's tell right. everybody our, our <laughs> conversations of the past. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, if you guys are interested, I'm going to put links down below. They can yep. go over and check out blockopsmining.com. Yep. This is going to wrap things up for here. Thanks again, Ben. Yep, I appreciate absolutely. it.